Hello and welcome to the Internet 101. Today I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Proxmox 5.0 onto your server. For demonstration purposes I'm installing this on a virtual machine, however I thoroughly recommend that you install this directly onto your server's boot drive. First of all, you're going to need to download the latest Proxmox ISO from their website, which at this point is 5.0. You will then need to flash this ISO onto a bootable USB and insert it into your server. Then start up your server and ensure that it is set to boot from USB and follow along. Now once it's booted from the USB, you'll be presented with this screen. You're then going to want to hit install now and then just sit back whilst it starts to load the kernel and begin booting from the USB stick. Now it may come up with a few errors as you can see at the top, don't worry about that, it's just because it's looking to, for um, devices that don't exist on this system. You're then presented with the usual agreement which you can agree if should you wish and you're then presented with which hard drive uh, you want to install it on. Now if you click on options this opens up what file system you want to use and there's various different options you can choose from and what's quite handy is that there's the ZFS RAID 0 which allows you to have multiple hard drives which will show up uh, in this space here and add them together to create one bigger hard drive. I'm going to choose extended 4s, I've only got one and proceed to the next screen. Now you need to choose your country, um, Britain, uh, that's where I am so it's actually Britain not UK and then enter a root password. Now the email here, you just have to change it from what it is. As long as it's in the format of an email, it doesn't matter what it is. Then you're going to click Next. And now you're presented with the network setup. Now the host name, just choose a host name. I'm going to call it Node 1 of the master cluster as I'm going to have multiple nodes. You can choose your IP address. This is the one you're going to use to get to the web uh, graphical user interface. So make sure you remember it. It's then going to continue to install uh, Proxmox after it's created the various partitions that it needs. Now, this is a, as I mentioned before, a web-based user interface. So just make sure that that um, IP address you gave it is something that is not only free on your current network setup, but is also something you're going to remember. Um, it's going to use the port 8006. And so should you wish to access this from outside your network over the internet, you're going to want to make sure that you add port forwarding rules uh, to allow port 8006 to reach the IP address that you set on the screen before. Now this IP address is going to be static and so it won't be affected by any other DHCP server on your network. Um, and I tend to usually stick this at the start of my range as it denotes that it's the server, it's the, it's the boss, and that it's something I'm going to remember. Now the installation is actually quite quick. I'm running this at real time just whilst I explain a few bits. As you can see, it's going fairly fast, and considering this is on a virtual machine, um, I'm pretty sure it will run even faster on a bare metal machine. Now, Proxmox doesn't actually require that much resources. Um, it'll quite happily work on an old machine if you want to set up a file server. Um, you know, just use an old hardware. It's pretty happy just to run on the bare minimum required. It's, um, you barely need any, any um, hard drive space at all. Once it gets to this last bit, it takes a few seconds, and you are presented with the successful screen. Um, all you need to do is remove the bootable media and once that's done then you're going to hit reboot and it will cycle through and we'll see what that looks like now. <coughs> As you see it says please remove the CD and it's now rebooting. It gives you a few options but it will automatically select the top one if you don't press anything. It allows you to go into recovery modes or command line only etc but what we're interested in is the top one which is the automatic boot uh, choice anyway. Again I'm going to learn the curdle and very quickly we're at the main page. Now the login is root and the password is the one that you set beforehand and now we're in and like any Linux um, distribution uh, the first thing you're going to do is do an apt update and then an apt upgrade just to make sure we're running the latest patches. You can see at the very top of the screen it tells you that the web GUI is on 192.168.1.112 colon 
8006. That was the IP address that you set at the very start of the installation. Again, this is running at normal speed. Um, so, as you can see, it is very quick. Um, to come out of it, you just press exit, and that will bring you back to the main logon screen. That's all you're going to see if you have a uh, VGA monitor connected to your server. It's only used for command line based uh, activities and updates, etc. Now, if you open up uh, your favorite web browser, navigate to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address that you set and then make sure that you choose the port 8006 it will give you an error basically because it's using a self-signed certificate just um, ignore that and then on the login screen you're going to end enter root and your password that you set in the installation now this subscription um, box will always come up don't worry about that you're not being inhibited at all it's fully open source uh, it's just for their um, to allow them to have their support services which you can pay for and as you can see it's loaded up both uh, disk drives and there we have it uh, you have now fully installed Proxmox onto your uh, server uh, which you can now start creating virtual machines containers and managing multiple nodes and clusters so I hope this has been of use if it has then please subscribe and like if you would like me to do further tutorials on what you can do within Proxmox then just leave a comment down below thank you very much